Congressman Vicente Gonzalez spoke at a U.S. Postal Office in McAllen about the changes being made to the Postal Service. As the battle continues with mail-in ballots, CBS 4's Karina Vargas explains how the changes will affect those relying on life-saving medications. I'm hoping that uh, the Postal Service will continue to serve us. Luis Lucio is the Veterans of Foreign Wars post commander in Brownsville. He, like many other veterans, are worried about getting their medication on time. Most of the elderly uh, are drinking that blood pressure medication. Uh, that is a life or death medication. Congressman Vicente Gonzalez was vocal about the devastating effects the recent operational changes for USPS can have on the county. It's never been a time like this where our president has opposed us, has tried to defund us, has tried to defund the senior citizens that rely on health care providers, on medication. Many of those relying on the Postal Service are the elder and veterans, which could be a life or death situation. Eighty percent of veterans who receive uh, medication receive it by mail. And uh, over 50% of meds sent by mail are to seniors 65 and older. So uh, it's a lifeline for many people to receive their uh, medications. The Department of Veterans Affairs relies heavily on the delivery of medications by USPS. And in a statement, they tell us VA continually monitors prescription delivery times throughout the country, and the department has always used a variety of methods to ensure timely delivery, including in person pharmacies, USPS, and commercial care. Carriers. Congressman Gonzalez says he is headed back to Washington in hopes of bringing $25 billion to the postal system. Working for you in McAllen, I'm Karina Vargas.